An inbound lead is 100 times stronger. They reached out to you. They are interested. Otherwise, it's a lottery. Let me call this database like we used to do back in the day. These are the new leads. And to you, they're gold. And you don't get them. Why? Why? What's the reason? It's the mindset. Like some people, they just cannot update themselves. The industry is changing very quickly. Mm -hmm. When you connect yourself to social media, you get a better exposure. Do you think all real estate agents can do social media marketing? The person or the people in front of the camera need to have some sort of entertaining caliber or characteristics yeah. about them. We've got the movie Heat. All right. How good would Heat be without Al Pacino? If everyone thinks one thing, then I say better the other way. I always say this, whatever everyone else is doing, do the opposite. I'm a terrible actor. I believe you can, you can be a good actor. Walla, walla, walla. Welcome on Checked. And today I have the coolest people in Dubai, real estate agents. <laughs> and I choose two of the people that I know and I'm sure you're gonna like them. I have Bardia with me from Generate. Yeah. <laughs> is a, he's an expert in content creation, specifically when it comes to real estate. And I have a good one of my good friends, Yusuf. We met a long time ago and he quit uh, what he was doing. He used to be a flight attendant. And now he's one of the, the most successful real estate agents that I know in my, in my uh, circle. So uh, today we're going to speak about a very interesting subject, specifically lead generation and how to make clients and how to be successful in real estate. Because there is a lot of people that are still stuck, as you said, in the 90s. Right, Yusuf? Sure. Yeah. So basically a lot of people are still thinking in an old school way. And I believe nowadays you can do a lot of great work. You can have a lot of uh, leads and exposure in the market using social media. And I believe Bardia is expert in marketing and social media. You agree, I believe, right? 100%. The trust barrier is dramatically reduced if you're using utilizing social media. Like I used to be an agent 11 years ago. I was an agent for three years. Then I got headhunted to Florida. Then I came back to Dubai again, started doing, you know, content. I'd Interesting. Want... I will ask you why you come back to Dubai later. Uh, because Dubai is Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Dubai, you can't like, come on. Dubai is Dubai. I used to live in Florida. Dubai is Dubai. Is Dubai Incomparable. You, know? you, can't, you can't. I love Dubai. You know, my friend is here with me. He loves it. Like, he's been with me now for a month and a half. He came last year. He was just blown away. But anyway... 100% content is the best way. If we had Instagram the way we have now, 10 years ago, you know, it would have been a change, game changer back then. But like you said, everyone, a, a lot of people are still stuck in old ways, you know? Yeah. We only had Bayut, Khaliji Times, we sure. had Property Finder to get leads. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that was incoming leads. Okay, it's more powerful in certain senses. Is you know the guy probably knows exactly what he wants, or he's in the beginning of the buyer's journey. We have a buyer's journey, but content, for example, you know, we've been talking about it many times for the yeah. last six months. That whole trust barrier, you can consistently post, and not how you get a golden visa, but consistently post things that is regarding real estate. Yeah, that showcases how much you know about the Dubai market. The person gonna follow you, he's gonna see you for three months, six months, and he's gonna know more or she's gonna know more about you than your filtering questions of him or her. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? The so trust, the trust is there, yeah. The yeah. trust gonna be there. You know what happened and why I'm interested to uh, emphasize on this subject? Because like one month ago, I did an interview with one of the most popular real estate agents uh, in Dubai specifically. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know him, realtor on Harley. Yeah, and yeah. I, when I when I asked him this question, like traditional uh, traditional ways of generating leads versus mm -hmm. new or modern ways, mm -hmm. obviously he chose modern ways. But the reaction in in what he chose through the comments and all of that, it was crazy. Like everybody was against it. Majority of people still choose like for example cold calls versus social media and i'm talking about people who work in the real estate industry or mm. they are like still yeah. in the same field but they cannot see that why you think this is happening why what's the reason i you, believe the you, main reason is the mindset like some people they just cannot update themselves you know so the industry is changing very quickly mm. and when you um connect yourself to social media you get a better exposure to people. Yeah. By the end of the day, social media will help you to generate money. Yeah. 
in an easy way. A lot of people, what they do, for example, let's say they post video mm -hmm. today, tomorrow, after tomorrow, and there is new leads, whatever, they just give up. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, marketing is not working. Mm -hmm. But marketing is a long-term game. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. At well, the same time, as you said, yeah. when you post things every day about real estate, first of all, you are educating yourself as a broker or a client manager. And second thing, people get to know you and trust you even more. Mm. So for me, I do believe that people should forget about the old school ways and update themselves and dive into social media. It works, believe me. And I believe Bardia is the perfect example yeah. for oh, this. I love the fact that you said people give up. I run campaigns, you know, me and my company, we run campaigns for our clients, okay? And we A-B test, there's something called A-B testing. What was working four weeks ago might not work now. We just launched two new campaigns at midnight last night, and they are, I posted them today uh, on my story. They are doing ridiculous numbers. Whilst four weeks ago and six weeks ago, two of them, they were doing $35, $40 per lead. Now they're both under 10. Why? I don't know. We have to test and see. Yeah. Coming back to the actual main question, I kind of drifted off. I think it, it heavily boils down to upper management. All right, you look at companies in Dubai where upper management are fairly young. You know, they're 30 to 40 years old, 45 max. They're fairly, fairly young. They're, they belong to the digital era. They yeah. understand the value of social, con social media and content much, much more than the owners 55 to 65 or they have investors that are a little bit older and they want to do it the traditional way. I had a client that was only a client for a month due to this. The staff that I was dealing with, the sales directors, the sales managers, the CEO, loved what we did, saw the value, but the guys upstairs with the money getting into the com to the company yeah. couldn't see it because they were, like you said, Old locked school. in on a whole different mindset. Cold calling, going to events, networking, which you should do, but you have to broaden your parameters of 100%. how you network. Yeah. But content now is content. What are we doing yeah. now? We're doing content now. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, I, I'm a content guy. Right. He is a content yeah. guy. And he, he have to be a content guy. <laughs> you sort of have to be a content guy. Like, you have yeah. to be more available in social media, I believe. Mm. But let me, just to clarify something, I mean, what I realized is that people, through my, my short journey in content, mm -hmm. There is people still believe in terms of numbers, mm -hmm. cold calls, for example, mm -hmm. will generate more sales than social media. Okay. So if we put social media and mm -hmm. cold calls, specifically mm -hmm. cold calls, I'm talking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which one you think will generate more sales or mm -hmm. close more deals mm -hmm. within a period, let's say, of one year? Um, can I take this? Go for it. <laughs> it's not about what I think, it's what I know. Yeah. An inbound lead is always much, much more potent than an outbound call. You are reaching out to someone yeah. that received that phone call from you. If it's 10 in the morning from two other agents, if it's five in the afternoon from 20 other agents, <laughs> and I'm being lenient. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, an, it inbound, can be more. an inbound lead, we have inbound marketing and we have outbound marketing. I studied this in uni. And it's that it's in theory, I was like, no, nah, that can't be it. But in practicality, that's exactly push what and it pull, is. I believe. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. An inbound lead is hundred times stronger because they've done their research, they reached out to you. Exactly. They are interested. Otherwise, it's a lottery. Let me call this database like we used to do back in the days. Let me call the promenade and see what's happening. Or let the me call Park Island. The big one? The, yeah, no, promenade is the six towers in um in Ema. I was oh, doing okay. I was doing the Ema project in uh, in um, in Marina. All right. This is twenty thirteen to sixteen. And let's see. Let's go for a let's go for a you know chick hunt. Yeah. Like you see what I'm saying? So I know for a fact inbound. Like when someone contact me in my DM or WhatsApp me or give me a call and want to know about my packages, it's a whole different game than I have three assistants hired, which I don't even have, because I we don't yeah. do any outbound to call every real estate agent and offer our services doesn't work like that anymore. Yeah. Everything's saturated. We have companies in everything. Yeah. Have, I always say this, whatever everyone else is doing, do the opposite. It's going to work. Yeah, I mean, you, I always you, say this, this is That's UK so philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, in England, yeah. they think like this. Yeah. Like, uh, do the opposite. Um, but what about you, Yusuf? Because I really want to get your perspective because you are in real estate for two years. You're doing good. Uh, comparing to Bardia, it's... 12 or 13 years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, 11. So yeah. I want to know your 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 take on what I just said, like comparing cold calls 
with lead generation from social media? Which one you think, uh, according to your two years experience? So basically, um, when you receive this data to do cold calls, just like Badia said, it's like Larry, you know what I mean? It works, but the percentage that you're gonna find a qualified client who's actually interested to buy something is quite small. On the other hand, when you invest in social media, yeah. when you do campaigns and marketing and so on properly, yeah, you get a lot of leads. The process to qualify them and close them is much easier because they already knew everything about the project. Yeah, they knew you as closed. a person. Yeah. At the same time, people love to buy from people that look like them and talk like them. Yeah. Yeah. So the people that trust you and like you, they will contact you. Yeah. It's going to be so easy to I close them this. eventually. I always say this. Yeah. People buy from people they like. Yeah. And if they reached out to you, they will already like you. 90%. Otherwise, they wouldn't have reached yeah. out to if you. If they like you, they buy, they buy from exactly. you. Exactly. It's yeah. very hard to sell something for someone who don't like you. Except if you are in B2C and the person really need the bag or something. <laughs> That's a different story. Yeah. Okay, look, there is another sort of obstacle when it comes to social media. Uh, do you think all real estate agents, think all of them, if we take the market of the UAE, they can do social media marketing. Is it something for everybody or like specific type of people who can allow themselves to do this? I'm going <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to... Yeah, it's a good this, question, I actually. Had, I had this discussion late yesterday with a yeah. client. You know, they... <sighs> the thing is, there's certain... Okay, let me just flip this. Let's move away from real estate because I don't want to get in trouble for saying something <laughs> blunt, right? Go ahead. Let's flip this. In comment... Let's let's flip this. You're watching a movie tonight. Yeah. Okay. One movie has me starring in it. Mm -hmm. I'm a terrible actor, like script actor, like films. I've never done it, so I assume I'm terrible. I believe you can you can be a good actor. I know, but, but let me let You'll me just let me let me try to get the point. Let, let me get let me get the, let me get yeah. the point across, right? There's films, you got heat. You got the movie heat. All right. How good would heat be without Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, Al Pacino? You see what I'm saying? The script is the same, but there's certain characters that can play certain because content is what? It's inform it's information and entertainment combined. Everyone's not entertaining. Yeah, inbound marketing, this is it. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone's not entertaining as a person. Maybe they have other gifts that the entertainer doesn't have. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. being in front, because the thing is this, we have a very short spam, thanks to TikTok, Instagram. <laughs> we all stressed all the time. Yeah. So we have a short time spam, right? Sure. In order to keep someone 60 seconds, 90 seconds on a reel, the effect's great, but the person or the people in front of the camera need to be, need to have some sort of entertaining caliber or characteristics yeah. about them. So to answer your question, I do not believe that everyone can do you know, entertaining content that will persuade the person to stay and really listen to what they have to say. But when you I say, don't believe it, so. but when you say everyone within the real estate, uh... just in general, when it comes to content, because okay. again, content is entertainment to keep someone yeah. on the. But on... you know why I'm emphasizing on real estate? Okay. Because what I think or mm -hmm. what I believe is that a real estate agent innately mm -hmm. they are talkative. But, you know what I mean? Okay, so let me answer that question. I'm around a lot of agents every day. Yeah. I'm around a lot of agents every day. I, when I bond with them in between, you know, in between shoots, I always ask them, do you love what you do? Are you doing this for the money? Or are you doing this because you love real estate? Because I love real estate. I'm on Property Finder for fun every day. I'm not a broker. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? You just like it. Majority of the people I speak to, they're only in it for, I think I can make a lot of money. You know, my massage therapist is thinking about moving into real estate. Because yeah. there's a lot of, you see what That's I'm saying? That's another so, subject, so, yeah. Exactly. So, so no, I don't believe within real estate that everyone can do it because they have to be passionate about, about it. it. Yeah. 20% are passionate about it. They've yeah. been in, in it for five years, 10 years, 15 years. The rest are brand new. They've been in... They, they've been in real estate for six yeah. months, nine months, 12 months, 24 months, and they're borderline sick of it Yeah, because they don't, they're not passionate about you it. You know, you just said something very interest, interesting, Bardia. You, you just, it's because everybody, now it's a joke that in Dubai, in Dubai, like uh, a taxi driver can be a real estate. Sure. Uh, a, a chef in, in a cuisine can be a real estate. 
do you think it's a misconception or is really happening that everybody really is a part-time real estate? Really happening. In Sweden, you have to go to university for three years to become an agent. Yeah. When you go into a room in Sweden on a gathering with a bunch of friends and you meet a bunch of people you don't know at that gathering on a Friday or on yeah. after work or whatever, when someone asks you, what do you do? And you turn around and say, you're a real estate agent, you're interesting. Oh, really? because they know what it requires. It's a three year university degree, it's court taxes, you know, plot taxes, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Here, the RERA is what, three, used to be three days. Is it still three days? It's a yeah. three day or five day course, a quick test, and all of us off you go, you're an agent. Yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, and we have, we have what, 18,000 registered, people estimate there's about 60, 70,000 agents all in all in Dubai. A fraction is registered. So, ah, he or she is just another agent. Sure. We can find them around every corner. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Uh, so, do, you, do you think it's, is it okay to keep it like that or no. restric restrictions should be they have to, put? They, they have to do regulations because yeah. at the end of the day, it's the PR of Dubai to the world. Yeah. Right? Obviously, sure. yeah. Like it's the PR of the city. So they have to regulate it. They slowly but st slowly but surely doing it because yeah. back in the days we could have 20 agents having a unit. Now we have to have forms, maximum <laughs> three agents on a secondary unit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So they, you know, they have to do things bit by bit. I think the aim is to do it more professional in the sense of if I can use the word professional as in certain countries like Sweden and England, etc. Yeah. But it's going to take a little bit of time. So, yeah. But they have to do it because but it's let's the not face forget, of Dubai. Yeah, and Dubai, yeah. It's, it's a new city. Let's let's uh, yeah, yeah. Let's be real. Let, let's be real about yeah. it. It will happen sooner or later. But uh, Yusuf, regarding this, what we were talking about, real, I really want to know your opinion about it because from a person who was in um, in the aviation industry through fa to fashion to real estate, the reason why, and I really want you to be honest, is it money or you said no? I really like real estate. What was the main reason? And if it's money, I understand. Beside money. A new challenge because I was feeling a little bit bored doing the same thing in fashion industry and also in aviation. Real estate industry is quite interesting, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. You get to meet people like Mr. Bardia and yourself. <laughs> it's quite cool, honestly. I really love it. It's quite challenging. And going back to the previous question that there is too many Asians in the market, for me, when I joined this industry, when I saw this amount of Asians, it's scary, right? Yeah. It is scary. It lowers the value of, of the you. Asians. You might be and a myself great guy. as well. Yeah. yeah, you might be honorable. And there's a lot of uh, sneaky stuff happening in the market, unfortunately. <laughs> Kickbacks, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, just and and yeah. I believe that they should do something. Yeah, the first thing they should do mm. provide salaries for um, brokers because. From my experience in brokerage companies, I would say the vast majority are suffering. Yeah. The vast majority, almost like 80%. We're going to have a great debate about that. You think you you go against that, right? See, I think that is, uh, I, I, I think in, you have a good point, mm. very valid point, but I look at it from this perspective. Instead of just offering salary or commission only, I think companies need to focus way more on sales coaching. Indeed. I just had a sales coaching with my biggest client. And for me, this was normal because I've yeah. been in sales my whole life after uni, university. So, but after that, they tried a couple of the things I said. And apparently they were blown by the results just by over the phone, breaking so the call. You're call saying it. instead of salaries, they should pay for their sales coaching, not pay them a salary, no. but invest the same money on sales coaching. That's what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that's up to the agent and negotiation with what the agent and the agency is comfortable with. I'm just saying that a lot. The, the reason we have so much staff turnover in Dubai is because agents, I do not believe, get the full support they need to get. So you're not th think sales coaching is uh, very rare. So you, you sure. don't think you don't think because there is like a, a lot of real estate agents and the and the market is saturated. It's not that's, that's not the reason. The reason is because the salespeople or the brokers. They're not up to it. They're not as good as they think they are. That's why they're Maybe not they making are good. sales. Sorry, the Maybe they are good, but they're not trained enough. Exactly. They're the not companies. trained enough. I'm talking sales-wise, of course, obviously. Uh, yeah. 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 And, and one more thing, not mm -hmm. just that. There's a lot of illegal stuff happening, for example, when they hire someone. Yeah. Oh, please, they, I really want to hear yeah, this. Yeah. I'll be 
frank with Go you 100 yeah. percent. Mm-hmm. so most of the companies even the big companies they hire someone bro- brokerage companies brokerage companies yeah. sometimes even uh developers yeah. it happened to me a lot so okay. basically when they hire someone they're like you know what you're gonna work with us but there is no visa there is no support from us until you close your first deal you yeah. got me yeah even the- though they know it's illegal but still, they do it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew yeah. that, right? I knew that, yeah. Yeah. Not and to that extent when it comes to developers because you're in the development game. Yeah. But yeah I knew but, that. But some of them, they do yeah, that. I heard me. that. Uh, they are delaying the medical and visa and so yeah, on. Yeah. I mean... It's I, sad. It is sad. It's sad. It is sad. It's unethical. At the same time, at the same time, see, if you hire someone, you give them full support when it comes to train, how to talk to clients, how to qualify them and so on. You do need basic salary because yeah. automatically they're going to close yeah. clients and yeah. get good commission yeah. yeah the commission real estate is massive yeah you know but guys you you're sure so the market is not saturated it's not that's not sense? that's not what do you a, mean by saturated like, oh, saturated in terms of sales people not in terms of them uh offer i'm talking the 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 people who are pitching the offer mm-hmm. you don't think there is a lot of them this is it has nothing to do with this 100 percent saturated yeah but for that reason specifically it's important to educate your staff if they're right. fresh. And yeah. the majority of the agents are fresh. Yeah. They maybe don't even have a sales background. They maybe came from a makeup department. So I, you see ma- what I'm a saying? majority yeah. of the people I know, basically that's their story. They never did sales before. And how much help do they get? Nothing. From my days of experience, nothing. I don't know. I'm not really in the market now from that perspective, but just based on a sales course I did a couple of weeks ago, I was just blown away on how much they took notes. I thought to myself, this is quite basic sales. Why are they yeah. taking so much notes? You're telling yeah. me that they're not so being in, in trained outside of me, like internally, right. it's a pretty large company. Like, So Bardi, just, so if, if now companies, they start doing sales trainings and all of that, mm-hmm. you think the sales in general in the whole region will, will be more like, because not just, we're not, making huge numbers, you know, the sales yeah. will be more, first of all. Second of all, let's look at the ripple effect of what I'm, mm. what I'm talking about when it comes to educating, giving sus- like sustainable resourcing for mm. your staff. Your staff turnover gonna go down. Your admin time, your whole visa situation going to be less, okay? Agents in the market gonna act way more professional, yeah. which has an overall impact on Dubai real estate as a whole. True. There's a ripple effect of things yeah. that happens in a sustainable and positive way. Yes. Now, I feel like, cause I'm around sales centers, I'm around agents every single day. I just feel like we haven't developed more than 10 years ago. It's the same game. It's the same game, yeah. That's almost. how I'm feeling. Like, yeah, I'm in real estate. How long have you been in real estate? Yeah, four months. and. And I can hear sometimes they speak to clients and they're giving wrong information. 100%. Yeah. They're giving yeah. wrong information. Yeah. So what happens to that guy? He's going to go home and speak to his friend. And the you see what I'm saying? will be spread. Yeah. yeah. And then that guy is going to lose trust in this agent because this, this poor agent wasn't educated with good resources from the company owner. Mm-hmm. And the company is now going to be guilty yeah. um, ethically yeah. on Dubai real estate segment as a whole. I understand. It makes trust sense. is a big problem yeah. here is a big big problem you have to it's it feels like in terms of trust you have to always overachieve <laughs> instead of just being True. honest and the yeah. person believing in you yeah 100 <laughs> percent. Sure. before there's any money involved yeah from an everyday standpoint yeah you know so i mean in a nutshell after this conversation you are a real estate agent educate yourself about sales strategies and social media and two things and don't be a car salesman be a uh, consultant don't be a broker be a consultant all right basically the, the consultant <laughs> or broker debate we're gonna do it another day but yeah. the, what i really want to know because there is also another question that it's in stuck in my mind when it comes to real estate mm-hmm. is it better to buy talking like sales and specifically is it better to buy secondary market or from uh, an off-plan project which one is better for People who want to do an investment or even to live in the in whatever they're buying. Mm, that's entirely up to the person. What are, what are they trying to achieve? If it's let's only say f- you yeah, right I mean, now. Let's say you have one million dollar right now cash. Yeah. I just bought last week, Congrats. but I'm gonna live in it. Okay, it's a one bedroom, thousand nineteen square. I'm gonna live in it. All right, secondary Me- or development? No, secondary. A secondary. Yeah. Okay. The thing is this, right? 
And me personally, me personally, off plan, beautiful. Like it's the latest techs, brand new buildings, yada, yada. But coming from Sweden, we come from a place where you, we refurbish. Yeah. So the whole idea that it's brand new building, it doesn't attract me that much because I look at the EMAR projects in downtown and Marina and I'm thinking, well, we can refurbish this. Yeah. So it's already there. You're yeah. buying the product is done yeah. in an already established community. Yeah. I'm 44 years old. I ain't got time what? to wait 15 years for a community to be done. You look when like it's you're in your now. 30s, man. No, but you see 25. what I'm saying? So to answer the Damn. question, so to answer the yeah. question, with all the payments plan we have, yeah. incredible for all the people that want to invest in something and they want to pay little yeah. by little. Perfect. Like they, This is the beauty about Dubai. It's so versatile that doesn't matter if you're a millionaire or you just have a good salary. You can invest. You have the opportunity to invest. Yeah. Me personally, I'm a secondary guy because you can start getting the rents immediately. Yeah. And I don't need to worry about delays, potential Got delays. That's just me. So there's pros and cons in each, in 100%. both situations. It depends yeah. what yeah. you prefer. Yeah. What about you, Yusuf? See, for me, if my main purpose is to invest, not to live in that unit, I would go for off plan. Not in off plan, a good unit from a good developer, good view, yeah? Basically, I'm gonna aim for capital appreciation. Mm. Yeah, and that's it. So yeah. you, for you, it's more, more of an off-plan person than, yeah. than secondary market. And I will do a lot of study before obviously. I will invest in that property. True, true, true. I, yeah. Obviously, yeah, that, that's There's necessary. a lot of beautiful projects coming because mm. we have a shortage of townhouses and villas. Really? And yeah, we have a shortage of townhouses and villas. And there's in a Dubai. lot of projects coming now. With Can I ask you a question, villas. by the way? Mm -hmm. Sorry yeah, for please. Yeah, 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 please. Do you think the price will drop? No, pri soon? price is not going to drop, but I just don't believe. I, I just think there's specific golden nuggets that will have the appreciation that everyone anticipates. Mm -hmm. like, like the Miraz Project Acres, it will definitely appreciate. All but right. there's a lot of projects that I don't believe will appreciate because what's happened is for the last three years post COVID and everything that's happened in the world and all the money and all the funding that's been transferred to Dubai, um, there's a hype that a lot of developers are riding on. All right. So when you're selling a one bedroom off plan for 1.9, uh, you know, just and, and just relying on the fact that it's right next to a metro station, I don't see that one bed going up way more than the 4% land department fees that you paid. <laughs> because you can get a one bedroom in downtown now for 2.3 with, you know, fountain views and you're two minutes away from Dubai more. Amen to that. You see what I'm saying? Like, Value. That, like if you look at developers and the pricings just two years ago until today, they are basically charging you what you were supposed to win in appreciation yeah. as an end user or an investor. I don't believe price. Prices will definitely not drop 100%. This is a mature market now, and it's an organic market. I've mentioned this before myself. But in terms of the appreciations that people think, especially apartments, me personally, I don't believe it. I don't think that, you know, certain areas, certain areas, first of all, is going to be oversaturated, in my opinion, Yeah. in terms of apartments. So the day you want to sell, it's about, okay, who's going to give the lowest price? Because there's so many other two beds and three competition beds and one bed. competition is really yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. But in terms of townhouses and villas, yeah, I think appreciation is about to happen for sure. So what you're saying is that apartments probably will depreciate slightly. Not but depreciate. Villas, yeah, but Not, these will stay the yes, same. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, I think when it comes to apartments, that's what I think, right? We need to look at it from a purely return on investment standpoint and not the appreciation standpoint you know, holiday homes or you want to do, you know, yearly lease, whatever the case may be. I don't believe that a one bed that is being sold in JBT for 1.2 is going to go up to 1.56. I don't believe so. Okay. It doesn't matter how good the development is. doesn't matter how many amenities you get. There's a reason why you get 20, 30 amenities in certain areas because those areas are very off. So they have to give you certain unique selling points in yeah. order for you to purchase there, right? Got your point, yeah. Dubai land's getting really... We have a lot of projects coming up in Dubai land. 35 amenities, of course, because it's Dubai land, yeah. right? So yeah. that's the unique selling point. So that's yeah, just, that's just it, my it, thoughts. No, but it, it makes a lot of sense. I yeah. mean, even from a person who's not from a real estate background, when I'm hearing you talking right now, what you're saying, it makes perfect sense. Mm. Uh, but before talking about this subject, what I thought, I, I don't know if you agree with me, Yusuf, but I think you also thought maybe the prices will drop slightly. 
That w that's why you asked him, right? He's asking because yeah. uh, there's a lot of speculation in the market because yeah. it's been really steadily inclining, yeah, I mean, which would make financial we, sense. It makes financial sense. Fluctuations. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think they're going to drop. I think we're going to stay think nice so, and yeah. steady. We have a new index. Yeah. All right. So, Bardia. Okay. Imar or Dubai Properties? Imar, all day. Azizi or Damak? Oh, none of them. None of them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ellington or Suba? Shoba, sorry. Shoba, because it's a community. Ellington oh. for t in terms of finishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miras or Nakhil? Oh, Miras all day. Miras all day. All day. Dubai, uh, sorry, Du or Etisalat? I'm virgin. <laughs> You're like Yusuf. I don't know. That's virgin, a new bro. thing. You're a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I'm not a virgin, but I'm virgin. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just joking, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Emirates Airlines or Etihad Airways? Emirates. Emirates. Yeah, yeah. Dubai Mall or Mall of the Emirates? Dubai Mall. I live next to it. JBR or City Walk? City Walk all day. Burj Khalifa or Burj Al Arab? Burj Khalifa all day. Dubai Marina or downtown? Downtown all day and a Sunday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uber or uh, Kareem? Uber all day. Talabat or Deliveroo? Talabat. Wild Wadi Water Park? Or Atlantis Water Park? Atlantis. You drink coffee? I do. Starbucks or Arabica? Of course not Starbucks. I'm boycotting them, first of all. Um, Costa Coffee. Costa, okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Me too, by the way. Yeah. G-Wagon or uh, SVR Range Rover? None of them. I'm a Porsche guy. You're okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. iPhone or Samsung? Oh, come on, bro iPhone. <laughs> okay, I have another question because now I know you 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 you've been in the US. Life in the USA or in the UAE? Life is life in the USA is is false advertising. It's false advertising. Everything that we've been shown for years. I've been to I've lived in America and I've visited America since 2002 my first time. I love America as a visitor. I think yeah. the people are super nice. They're super friendly. Dubai is kind of cold. They're not very social, in my opinion, right? Yeah. And I'm a big hip hop and basketball guy. We yeah. don't have that here to that same extent. But you wait. Like, listen, my mom told me ten years ago: if you move to Dubai, you will never be able to leave because you're not going to have the safety and the luxury and the everyday overall life standards anywhere else. Yeah. If I have to leave at some stage for whatever reason, I'm going to be destroyed. I love Dubai. It was very, um, it was very uh, enlightening, and I, I got a lot of information from you. And I'm sure that pe the people who watch this episode, they will know new things. But what, how you want to leave this conversation? What's the last thing you want to say before we end the the episode? I will start with Bardia because of the long experience he have. Do what's right, you know. Let us continue growing in Dubai. If you guys are real estate agents, do not have, do not, do not give away misinformation. Always be honest. Like think like a consultant, not a broker, because consultancy will bring you referrals. Being just a broker looking for a quick, you know, commission check. If the other person finds out after a while, he's not gonna send you no referrals. I'm just, I'm just looking out. Listen, I love Dubai. Yeah, yeah. I love Dubai. And I know that the real estate market in Dubai, in terms of reputation, not from a developer standpoint, not from the units, we have the best buildings in the world, the best amenities in the world, but from, you know, being a broker, being a consultant, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of tarnished the reputation, like you said before, saturated with agents. Please inform yourselves, be professional. The word prof Google the word professional. <laughs> yeah. Don't just say professional, Google the word right and just do a good job do a thorough job it's going to benefit you it's going to benefit everyone like you know just step your game up and do content shoot content you need help call yeah. me if you don't shoot content and do good content 100 that's all i need to say yusuf it covered everything i agree 100 percent <laughs> first of all thank you very much for having thank us you. yeah thank you're you. welcome guys this was it's a, an honor to yeah. see you gentlemen mm. uh regarding dubai real estate i do believe in dubai First of all, Dubai is one of the safest city in the whole world. And I believe there is a brighter future here. Yeah. I encourage people to come to Dubai, invest in Dubai, live in Dubai. And as Bardia said, have when a you coffee with us. Have a yeah. coffee with us for sure. <laughs> and shoot some content. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean upgrade yourself. 
Yeah. I believe yeah, social media is the new thing. So please upgrade yourself. I have Bardia with me from. <laughs> no. And I have. From Generate. Oh, from Generate. You have to redo it. <laughs> All right. Not. Yeah. I shoot for it. Okay, background. I got my own company. That's my way today. I got my own company. Yeah. I'm a content creator and I'm a lead generation guy and a sales coach. This is my client. All Good. the ads you've seen, I do them. For they pay client. me. I do. They're a client. Yeah. Evolutions, Husby, Provident. These are clients. Cool. I'm not a real estate agent. You mention it. That's fine because we're gonna. Because I'm gonna get into yeah, the yeah. fact that I used to be an agent, but I'm from Generate. Yeah, in every day in our everyday life. So, let, let me. I will do the. I will do the intro again. Sorry. I'm stressed. Relax. Yusuf and Bardia checked. And uh, yeah. enjoyed life. Thank, thank you, you so thank much you. for having You're me. You're welcome. So uh, 